Hey guys, you're watching Mida Lada TV. Today I would like to talk about 3D printers. And yes, you're still right. My channel is about reloading and shooting. But for me, the 3D printer fits my reloading bench very well. And to show you why, I would like to print an example to show what is possible. Today I would like to print an LED mount for my Literate reloading press. Hope you like it. And you don't have to create the, your own SDL file with an, a CAD software. All you have to do is go on thinkios.com, search for reloading and shooting stuff, and there are many projects. And the one I would like to print today is the Lee uh, Turret Press LED mount made by SB Farmer. Thank you very much for this great job here. And this is what the SDL file would look like. And all I have to do now is accept the license, download the SDL file, and then I can print it. Okay, one step more is needed. I open the SDL file in the software Cura, and here I can adjust the setting. For example, if I would like to print at 200 degrees Celsius, I can set this here. If I would like to print a solid model or one uh, with a waffle structure, I can set this as well. And I can see how long this will took and how many uh, meters of uh, PLA in this case I would need. Okay, I save the G code on my SD card. And this goes directly in my 3D printer. To start the 3D print, it's very simple. Just push print, select the G code of your choice, in this case the LED mount, push print again, and the machine will start the 3D printing job. In this case, I choose to go with a model which is not solid. Inside the model, inside the 3D print, there is a waffle structure which saves material, speeds up the printing process, but the model is very solid or very stiff even with this waffle structure here. And like you can see here, printing process is pretty fast. Okay, the LED mounting bracket is finished now and it looks like it should. All I have to do now is uh, glue some LED stripes on the left and the right side. I hope you can see that there is an angle. So I use those LED stripes here, cut them to the length I need put them on the left on the right side and clamp the whole LED bracket on my turret press. And here you can see the LED mount in action. I have to connect the wires a little bit better, but for demonstration purpose it will work. And with those LEDs on the left and the right side, I can see the inside of my case pretty good. And this is only a small example of things you can print with a 3D printer for reloading. Okay guys, and this was my short video about the 3D printer on my reloading bench. With this I can print small and even large parts for reloading, for shooting, you name it. So for me it fits on my reloading bench very good. Does it for you? Leave a comment and tell me. Click on the thumb up button below if you like this video here, share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please, and thank you very much for taking the time watching my video. Hope I see you next at Vidalada TV.